I'm Meng from Tokyo. In this video, I will share with you the top 10 things to know before coming to Japan that no one talks about. Be sure to watch this video to enjoy your trip. Okay then, let's go. Number 1. No phone. Taking the train is a very convenient way to travel in Japan, especially in major cities such as Tokyo, Osaka, and Kyoto. Trains run frequently and are a daily means of transportation for many, including Japanese office workers. However, several rules have been established to ensure that all passengers can travel comfortably. One important rule is to refrain from talking on the phone or speaking loudly on the train. Many passengers tired from work or study seek a quiet space. For this reason, the basic policy of most rail companies urges passengers not to talk loudly. Violations may lead to warnings from other passengers or station staff. In addition, priority seating is provided on trains to accommodate the elderly, pregnant women, people with infants and toddlers, and individuals with physical disabilities. These seats are reserved especially for passengers in need. If you see someone who could use a seat even if it's just a regular one, it would be super nice to just go, hey, feel free to take this seat if you want. Number 2. Grouping Japanese trains are significantly crowded especially on weekdays from 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock in the morning and from 5 o'clock to 8 o'clock at night during the rush hours for work. Although observing the commute of Japanese businessmen no and salarymen might be of interest, I cannot recommend using trains during these hours. This is because there is a risk of becoming a victim of molestation or voyeurism in crowded conditions and there is also a chance of being mistakenly identified as a perpetrator. In particular, incidents of molestation and voyeurism targeting high school girls in skirts are more prevalent in Japan than in other countries. The outbreak of the new COVID-19 infection temporarily reduced the congestion on trains when working from home became widespread. However, as restrictions were lifted and office work resumed, crowded trains and reports of molestation and voyeurism surged again. In response to this issue, penalties for voyeurism were shrunk after July 13, 2023. I recommend avoiding trains during rush hours to reduce the risk of involvement in such incidents. Additionally, to avoid being mistakenly suspected of molestation or voyeurism, I think it is wise to hold onto the hanging strap with both hands on crowded trains or just avoid crowd trains whenever possible. Number 3. Cyberbullying In Japan, citizens arrest YouTubers are attracting significant attention. These YouTubers target individuals who commit criminal acts or fail to follow rules or morals. They may question them or attempt to hand them over to the police while recalling their behavior on camera. In particular, they often focus on moral violations such as molestation, voyeurism, and littering on trains. On the surface, the actions of these YouTubers may seem righteous and beneficial to society, with some people even supporting their activities. However, there is a risk of these actions leading to false accusations. According to reports from NHK and other media, some individuals who are filmed have been subjected to massive backlash on social networking sites due to a single video severely affecting their lives. Such incidents have severely impacted the lives of some young people. While criminal acts like molestation and voyeurism are unacceptable, there are more ambiguous issues such as ignoring traffic signals, littering, and smoking on the street of which tourists should be aware. Even unintentionally, there is a risk of being photographed without consent and having personal information disclosed on social networking sites. To keep from accidentally embarrassing yourself while you're in Japan, I hope this video helps you get the hang of all the subtle rules and manners here. Number 4. Restaurant I'd like to share something that can be difficult to understand when eating at a restaurant in Japan. Upon entering a restaurant, it's common to wait for a waiter to greet you. In some establishments, especially those where the staff also cook, it may take a while before you are shown to your seat. Therefore, do not sit down without being guided. Instead, wait for a short while. Even if you are waiting and not shown to a seat, please say sumimasen to the nearest staff member. One exception to this rule is at ramen restaurants. 
ramen shops and some chain restaurants often use a ticket vending machine system where you select and pay for your menu item in advance before being shown to your seat. Regarding how to order, more restaurants are adopting digital tablets for ordering, which are often available in English, especially in family and chain restaurants like Gasto, Kola Kuen, and Yoshinoya. Even in restaurants without tablet ordering, there may be buttons to press for service. In such cases, you press the button to call a waiter and place your order. On the other hand, in upscale or privately owned restaurants, staff will typically come to take your order without the need for a call button. If no one comes to take your order after a reasonable wait, don't hesitate to attract attention by saying sumimasen in Japanese. Number 5. Leftover In Japan, leaving food behind is generally considered an act to avoid. This is because leaving food is seen as a lack of appreciation for the food provided and the effort of those who prepared it. For me personally, I think there's no need to force yourself to eat if you feel uncomfy from consuming something that doesn't suit your plate or when you're full. However, it is generally taboo in Japan to eat just one bite and leave the rest. In fact, just the other day at a ramen restaurant in Matsudo City, Chiba Prefecture during a personal visit, a famous YouTuber group of three made headlines for leaving food behind. The owner of the restaurant was angry at the YouTuber and responded by posting a picture of the leftovers on X, formerly known as Twitter, which attracted considerable attention. Although the tweet has already been deleted, the owner received a lot of support. Furthermore, last year, a long-established cafe in Nihonbashi, Tokyo posted a request, please refrain from ordering and then leaving without eating, just to have your meal photographed. After posting this on X, many people showed interest. These examples illustrate that many Japanese people have a strong aversion to the act of leaving food behind. You don't have to force yourself to eat everything, but to avoid unnecessary travel, try to order only what you can consume. If you really can't finish your meal, I think it's also good to ask if you can take out the leftovers. Number 6. Ramen Shop if you're into Japanese ramen, you may already know this. In most of the Japanese ramen restaurants, there is an unwritten rule that you should eat your meal quickly and then leave so the next customer can have a seat. The reason behind this are that ramen restaurants often have limited space and the prices are much lower than in other kinds of restaurants. In addition to ramen restaurants, beef food chains such as Matsuya, Sukiya, and Yoshinoya have similar practices. You should be careful not to stay too long like 2 hours in such restaurants, as you may be considered a nuisance customer with no common sense. If you want to stay longer, I think using a cafe is much better because cafes generally allow you to stay longer except in major areas like Shinjuku, Shibuya, and Akihabara. Number 7. Chopsticks you may know that we often use chopsticks when eating in Japan. When eating with chopsticks, there are certain things you should never do. Here are three of the worst ones. The third one is called sashibashi. This is the act of using chopsticks to point at food or people. It is considered extremely rude to use chopsticks to point at someone or something while eating. It shows a lack of respect for the other person, so be careful. The second is passing food from one set of chopsticks to another. The act of passing food directly from chopstick to chopstick is considered the same as the method to use pickup bones during cremation and should be avoided. The act is also considered very unlucky because it is associated with death and funerals. The worst one is sticking chopsticks upright in your bowl. This act associated with death should be avoided at all costs at the dinner table. The act of placing chopsticks upright in the food is considered extremely unlucky because it resembles the formality of offering incense at a funeral. Number 8. Trash Bin Discovering a trash can in Japan is as challenging as finding a treasure. To begin with, trash cans in Japan are subdivided according to the type of trash. It is relatively easy to find trash bins for cans and pet bottles in the city, but it is very difficult to find one for regular burnable trash. 
One reason for this is the sarin gas attack on the Tokyo subway in 1995. This act of terrorism perpetrated by followers of the Aum Shinrikyo cult resulting in 19 deaths and more than 5,800 injuries. In response to this tragic incident, many trash bins at train stations and public facilities were removed as part of measures to ensure public safety. Over time, the installation of trash bins gradually returned to train stations at other locations, but they began to be removed again. The first reason for this was to prevent infection when used masks and other items were found in the trash after the outbreak of COVID-19. Another reason was that more people started throwing away much bigger household rubbish. It's actually pretty common in Japan to have to pay for trash disposal, and some people seemed to throw away their household trash in public bins to save money. This seems to have considerably increased the burden on employees. I personally find it a bit annoying so I'd really love to see more trash bins around, of course keeping safety in mind. In my case, if I can throw it out at the store where I bought it, I throw it out there. If it's impossible, I basically keep it in my bag and throw it out when I get home. Number 9. Escalator There's an unspoken rule in Japanese escalators. The unspoken rule is that when riding an escalator, one should not stand in the middle but rather move to either the right or left side. This is to give way to those who wish to walk up the escalator. This is not so difficult to understand, but what is very complicated is that the rule of standing on the right or left side differs depending on the area. In Tokyo, which you are most likely to visit, you stand on the left side. In Osaka and Kyoto, on the other hand, the rule is to stand on the right side. I'm used to the Tokyo rule, so I often make mistakes when I visit Osaka or Kyoto even though I am Japanese. Running up escalators is very dangerous and recently there have been warnings at stations and other places to avoid doing so. It is common recently to see people being urged to stand on both sides of the escalator for more efficient transportation including at stations. However, it is very difficult for Japanese to change a long established custom and this unspoken rule is still alive and well. Number 10. Toilet here are three things to know about toilets in Japan. First up, toilets in Japan are basically free to use everywhere. They are often located in shopping malls, train stations, parks and more, and can be used anywhere for free. Therefore, when I traveled to Europe, I was very surprised to find that I had to pay to use the restrooms in shopping malls and train stations. Second up, all toilets in Japan allow toilet paper to be flushed. This might be the same as in the US, many European countries or others. Last up, I think this is a unique feature found only in Japanese toilets but many Japanese ones are equipped with washless functions. If you have come all the way to Japan, you should definitely try one. But if you use it incorrectly, you might get yourself soaked or have a sore bottom. The only thing you need to remember is the flash button, please use it to flush the toilet after use. If you're comfortable with it, try to use other functions. For example, wash is a button to wash your bottom after use. How was my video? Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like button. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. See you at the next video.